So today I thought I'd go through the story so far. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what's been going on this season for in preparation for the 2022 race season. So obviously you start in September, October time, and usually the build up until Christmas is pretty linear and you just want to be able to prepare to be able to put in the hard months in January, February, March. Ordinarily, I'm pretty good at that steady, consistent uh, training in preparation for January. However, this year, I, as I've spoken about before, I took my two week break, didn't do anything. It's very rare for me to do that, but thought it was necessary and therefore uh, really enjoyed it and thought I was prepared to start training again. However, I got into the swing of training and actually realized that during that two weeks, I hadn't really taken a break because I'd been doing work, I'd started tutoring, I'd been working on entire, and therefore, mentally, I don't think I'd given myself a proper rest. So I took another little break, a week-long break uh, in November, just completely switched off. It was amazing and I had a really good time. We celebrated one of my best friend's 30th birthday uh, and just had a really nice time in Guernsey as well. Uh, but did a fair amount of damage to myself in terms of a lot of drinking, uh, eating, and just, yeah, lack of sleep. So I came back from that late November or mid-November pretty in pretty bad shape for me and therefore just had to build again uh, quite late into Christmas. going really well in the lead up to Christmas. Went over to Guernsey for my sister's wedding, which was incredible, like literally such a great day. However, off of the back of that, I then got ill. Uh, so yeah, mid-December, which is probably earlier than I'd usually go over to Guernsey, away from the squad. Uh, it, was, it was great to go over, but just meant that I was away from the squad. I then got ill, had to spend all of Christmas uh, just not really training that much at all. I think it was like six to 10 hours worth of training uh, for a good few weeks. No pool time whatsoever, which I'm not completely uh, not used to. Uh, in 2019, I think it was, November 2019, I broke my thumb, so I had to have six weeks out of the pool completely. But even so, got to uh, the end of December having done very little training whatsoever uh, and now I'm I'm here, I'm in January and a little bit less fit than I was this time last year, well quite a lot less fit but it is what it is. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to bank on the past four years of training and 
not hope for the best. Like, obviously, it's a calculated risk. However, I'm going to try and push the hours up faster than I usually would. Usually, it would be a gradual build, and I'd steadily uh, progress the volume so that to minimize risk. But this time, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different, I guess. Nothing that I haven't done before in terms of the volume, just I'm going to build up to that quicker than I would usually. Essentially, long story short, the story so far has been a little bit bumpy, but I'm hoping that from January to March can now be a good stint of race uh, training, sorry, before racing uh, towards the end of March, maybe like that. It might be as soon as the end of March. In terms of what I'm going to be doing going forward from that, it's all in the build-up to Commonwealth Games. So the Commonwealth Games is the priority this year. Obviously, it's the biggest race of the year on the calendar. The past four years have been building up to this. So yeah, I'm just going to be focusing on that as my priority for this season. Other than that, I'm going to be doing a fair few races to be able to practice, to be able to hopefully in improve my world ranking because I'm pretty low on that at the current just because of the way things have worked out. Fortunately, last season when I qualified for the Commonwealth Games, that race also allowed me to enter a load of European Cups. So I'm now eligible and I can nominate myself to do those uh, for the foreseeable. But I'm also going to try and do some 70.3s in there, so some middle distance racing, some non-draft racing, uh, because I'm not bad at it and I think it suits my profile quite well. So I'm going to go and try and do that and see how it goes. Could be a morale boost, hoping that it will be. Uh, and I want to keep my foot in the door with those types of things because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy that sort of racing. In terms of those 70.3s, do let me know if there's any races that I should be targeting. Uh, they will take a secondary uh, position in comparison to the Commonwealth Games and probably short course racing because that will be the priority for this season. And potentially next season I'll go for more priority on the 70.3 side of things. So yeah, uh, that's the story so far. A little bit rocky, but looking forward to putting in a good stint of work in the lead up to the uh, first European Cup uh, potentially in March. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.